Here we go. Lacy Towers. It's a crime scene tape. Sionis' safe house. The police believe Penguin murdered Black Mask. But why would he send me here if he was the killer? It doesn't add up. Homegirl's dead. This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis. Something I can't do in the field. Tell him, Chris. I can identify the female victim based on her fingerprints. Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis' girlfriend. Or one of them, at least. She was no angel. Long list of priors. But nothing to indicate she was the target here. Hmm. The fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. It may have been intended to destroy evidence. Fire! The so who's this then? Bullets suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. This bullet was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. So again, penguin possibly. Of penguin's height, but the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. Interesting. These fingerprints are a match for the penguin, but they're on top of the soot from the fire. The cops were right. Penguin was in the room. These prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, Oswald C. Cobblepot. The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? Guessing we're gonna. Oh, I thought we had to rewind. These white streaks are shoe polish. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room Tiffany's shooter and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. So go back over here, scan. It's a fight. Someone snuck inside. It's not clear who won the fight. Could have been either one of them. Damn. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. Oops, wrong button. Will you let me scan it? Okay, there we go. Fabric analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. One impact area. DNA is from the female victim. The level of oxidation suggested oh. for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Cell phone. 
she was sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named the Joker. I'm scared. On my way. Who's the Joker? No one that matters. Someone killed Black Mask, but this crime took place several days ago, and I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The only answers I have raise more questions. Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here? Or is he one of the assassins? He's not one of the eight assassins. You heard all eight assassins. An unknown shooter. And an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. I need to match the DNA samples against the records in the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. Let's go to the National Criminal Alfred, Database. I need access to the National Criminal Database. Well, the only way to do that would be to infiltrate the Gotham City Police Department. Then that's where I'm going. Sir, you'd need to physically hack into their servers. If you insist on doing something that foolish, you'll need a powerful non-lethal weapon. I recommend coming back here to pick up your concussion detonator. Not a bad idea. Concussion detonator, that sounds quite violent. Let's do it though. Sucker. He wishes he could hang with me. <clears throat> Alright, let's go back to the back cave. Get us our concussion detonator. That might help a little. I had my TV on movie mode. Switch to the game mode. Welcome home, sir. The concussion detonator is on your workbench. Remember, if you use that instead of your fists, you'll do less lasting damage to those police officers and civil servants. Noted. Noted. Get out my way, Alfred. How do I quick fire it? Sir, a moment of your time. What do you sure, mean? sure. There's something about this Enigma fellow that doesn't sit right with me. Unfettered access to resources, an extensive network spread across the city. Whoever he is, the man has connections and capital. We can use that to our advantage. If he's buying things in bulk or using lots of power, we could track him. Perhaps, but he's also clearly a technical wizard. He's likely covered his tracks. Keep searching. He only has to slip up once to give us an opening. Certainly, sir. Well, you got more stuff for me? Down here, Alfred? Same as ever, sir. Though, I must say, the cave becomes rather chilly in the winter. I could look into building some more heaters. Mm. The energy consumption would raise too many eyebrows at water and power. No, I shall have to soldier on. Oh, nice of him. Some of the assassins have access to rather interesting technology. When this is over, you might want to consider appropriating it. Let some good come of tonight's events. I think some good has come. I got that new uh, thing from my remote claw that I accessed from Deadshot. Or wow, Slade. Deathstroke. So that is where I want to go. This is where we'll fast travel. I'm still mad about the bomb defusal. Like, you have no idea. That really makes me mad.
Was it me fast traveling too soon after defusing the bomb and didn't save? I don't know. But it makes me mad. 